Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is what do I need to be happy? I have four piles here. Pile number one is represented by a piece of pyrite. Pile number two is represented by a gold stone. And pile number three is represented by a piece of peacock ore. And pile number four is represented by a lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli i'm not sure if you know for sure leave me a comment down below let me know i'd love to learn um also feel free to drop me any kind of facts you have i love learning so that'd be fun uh so while you're resonating on which pile is right for you i'm going to take this moment to ask that if you like this video please hit the like button consider subscribing and turning on that bell icon and most definitely Leave a comment down below. I love talking with you guys. You make my day better. I hope to make your day better. So drop me a line. Let me know what's going on. Give me a, a useless fact that you can now say you've used. Or just a, how's it going? Let me know how it's going with you. I'd love to talk to you. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. If you need a bit more time, pause that video. And let's get started. Four, three, two... Pile number one, let's start with you. You chose the large chunk of pyrite. Very, very pretty stone. Can understand why people would assume it was gold. You need number nine, peace. Bridget goddess in your sacred name, a light within me, peace is flame. Harvest, number 43, as the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the le trees in the forest grow tall. Let my work now bring me to harvest. I am ready to receive my all. And number 38, divine guidance. Whispers from the beings who shine. Let their message be clear and kind. So what do you need to be happy? You need peace, harvest, and what I would consider as faith. And what I mean by this is you have peace here. So either there's a situation causing you a lot of stress or you're, you know, someone is causing you a lot of stress and the cards are saying that in order to be happy, you need to find some peace with the situation. Um, do what you can do, but find some peace about the things you cannot control. Um, you also need harvest, which means I'm kind of seeing is you need to see yourself reap the rewards for your hard work. I see harvest as the cards telling you that something you need to be happy is to see your hard work, you know, be of some value or work or worth something to somebody. Um, for divine guidance, I see the thing, one of the things you need to be happy is perhaps you are a religious person or if not religious, very spiritual in your faith is something that you need to be happy. Um, I'm kind of also seeing this as intuition, that perhaps what you need to be happy is to be at peace, to reap the rewards of the hard work that you've done, and to trust your own intuition. So that is what I have for you for pile, pile number th one. As for what you need to be happy, you need peace, harvest, and divine guidance. So, hopefully, you find all of these things. I hope you take care of yourselves, pile number one, and I want to thank you very much for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. I, uh, I appreciate you and all that you do for the people in the world around you. Have a good day, guys. Pile number two. You chose the gold stone. And what you need to be happy is knowledge. Number 28, let me connect above and below. Let the knowledge of my ancestors flow. Oh, I hope you're leaving me a, a fact down below, pile number two, because you seem like the sort that has a lot of knowledge that really enjoys learning. And I am excited to see what tidbits of knowledge you have for me. Um, I kind of see this as 
you need to to keep learning you need this knowledge you need to to study and and learn new things in order to be happy you need to learn to make the best possible decisions. Number 18, best possible decision. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. And abundance, number two, goddess of abundance divine, let me thrive, let fortune be mine. So pile number two, what do you need to be happy? You need to learn everything you can about a situation so that you can make the best possible decision you can. That way, when you make the decision, you're assured abundance as the outcome. Um, for the others of you, you came across some knowledge that allowed you to make the best possible decision for yourself and brought you to a place of abundance um, of any kind. It could be money, it could be abundance of time, it could be abundance of friendship or what have you. So... What you need to be happy, pile number two, knowledge, making good decisions, and abundance. Or maybe you just need acknowledgement that you're making good decisions, and these that would come in the form of abundance for you. Abundance of money, abundance of followers, or what have you. So that is what I have for you, pile number two. I hope this helped. And I hope that you are able to find happiness everywhere you look. Take care of yourselves, pile number two. Bye. Pile number three. You chose the peacock ore. And what do you need to be happy? Confidence, number 32. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. And... Number 33, creativity. By all above and all below, let me connect. Let creativity flow. Study, number 36. Let my mind be clear and strong. Let me study well and long. And number 15, glamour. Into this mirror, I now see the realms of possibility. All right, so what do you need to be happy? Pile number three. Confidence, creativity, study, and glamour. Meaning you need to gain some confidence in your own creative skills. Um, and then make sure you, you do the studying you need to do so that when you impart this creativity and this knowledge, you could do it with confidence that you know what you're doing. The other possibility here is that you're in the creative field um, you could be an author, an artist, um, a singer, a photographer, a uh, backup dancer, something like that. You're in a creative field, and they're saying have confidence in your creativity. Learn everything you can about the area you want to be creative in, and find all the possibilities that exist for this creativity to occur. For those of you that are not in a creative field at all, they're saying to find a little bit of creativity in what you do. Because um, if you could find a little bit of creativity in what you do, especially if it's study or just working hard, this could be working hard, um, you know, you're going to have that confidence and then all kinds of possibilities open up for you. The... Yeah. yeah, that's kind of what, that's what I see for you, pile number three, is that you, in order to be happy, you need to be confident in your creative abilities. So take the time to study everything you can, because in that will open up all kinds of possibilities for you. So hold on to this confidence. Find this confidence. Go back to the last place you had it. Hold on to it and run with it. Um, the other thing I'm kind of getting, and I mentioned this to somebody um, talking in the comments in another video of mine, and that was the Mary Poppins um, quote. In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You simply find that fun and snap, the job's a game. And that could kind of 
be what's going on here is their cards are saying, you know, take some confidence that you're really good at studying and inject some creativity into that. Have some fun. Try and make the, you know, maybe the organic chemistry lesson that you need to learn into a rap song somehow. Um, maybe, you know, play a, a word search game with, you know, the words that you need to study for your spelling test or what have you. Um, but the the cards are, are kind of saying, have some confidence, use some creativity in ways you normally wouldn't, do some study about the situation, and um, understand that you're going to see all the possibilities. Something good is coming in for you. So stay confident, because you'll now see the realms of possibility. All the possibilities that could possibly happen for you will open up. And you'll be able to see what you'll be able to do. Bye, guys. Take care of yourselves. Pile number four. I don't generally have a pile number four. You, Your cards were represented by this lovely lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli. And um, you'll see as I turn these cards over why I had to include this pile in the reading and did not just put it back in and let it go at three piles. Um, what you need to be happy, <laughs> pile number four, is true love. Number 26, true love come to me. True love shall come to me as I do will, so mote it be. You want your destined soulmate, your twin flame. Number eight, destiny. All that I shall need to know as I walk shall now be shown. Someone who is romantic. Number 23, romance. It is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. And number one, love. Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. So, <laughs> you can see why I decided to include this reading. Um, the deck was totally shuffled. It had been shuffled several times since the last time I had used it. Um, I pick it up, I shuffle three times, then I go ahead and shuffle for the reading, then... Um, after each pile, I shuffle three times through. If nothing falls out, I move on to this, the next pile. I shuffled three times through and then went to shuffle the three times to just sort of mix up the deck a little bit before I put the cards down. And um, and these are the four cards that came out. And I couldn't not put them in a reading because it seems to me to tell a full and complete story that somebody needed to hear. So... Pile number four, this is your special reading um, that the cards said I had to do because I usually only take three piles, but they, they I just do what I'm told. Um, so what do you need to be happy? You need true love. You need to embrace your destiny. You need to find some romance and some love. And this love may even be for yourself. When you find this love for yourself, then your true then your true love your destiny your twin flame can come in and give you that romance which is romance is really just a a, a way to show love a lot of people are um, have a sort of idea of what they think romance should be and that's like going to a fancy restaurant dressing up and all of that stuff but that's not what romance is romance is Going the extra mile to show somebody you love them. Um, you don't have to spend a dime to be romantic. If you're driving with someone that you love and your song comes on the radio, step out of the car and dance. I've talked about this before in another reading. Um, so romance doesn't have to cost you a penny. It doesn't have to be about getting up. It doesn't have to be about going anywhere. Romance can be as simple as when you're getting up to go get yourself something to drink, looking at your other half and going, can I get you anything too, sweetheart? It's caring. It's compassion. It's love. It's showing that they mean something to you in a way other than just, hey, buddy, how's it going? Um, so you are, in order for you to be happy, you kind of feel like you need your twin flame. But the cards here are saying... You may be feeling like you need your twin flame, and yes, that is your destiny. They will be coming in, 
but you need to find love for yourself too. Um, because if you can't love yourself, how can anybody else love you? So that's kind of some of the messages that I'm getting for pile number three. Another one of the messages that I'm getting is that someone is, when, when I say true love, come to me, romance, destiny, and all that, you're already with somebody, but there may be overseas, um, for some reason, or they may be elsewhere during, during this time and you're not able to see them or be with them. And the cards are simply trying to express that you will be happy when you're able to be with them again. So that is what I have for you, pile number three. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And I hope you find this true love, destiny, romance, and love that you need to be happy. And um, take care of yourself, guys. You're beautiful. Bye. For those of you sticking around to wonder what cards I'm using, these are the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. I very much enjoy these cards. They have a lovely rhyming couplet. And the books actually give a little spell to do if you're into spell work. So thank you guys. Have a good day.